hello hello welcome back to my channel what we have here is our checkbook register journal that we made in a previous video that i'll link up for you guys um this is the cover that was on the journal i removed it just for ease of working in the journal i'm going to put it back on when i'm done um so this is our checkbook register and this is the cover that we made for the checkbook register little mini journal it has an elastic so it's kind of traveler's journal style um, you guys should check out that video if you're interested in making this project but what I'm going to be doing in this little journal is using it for scripture references so it's not a Bible journal, obviously, because I'm not working in a Bible, but I call it a scripture journal because I just use, I like using these little mini books, notebooks, checkbook registers, whatever you have to make art and then use that art as a backdrop, as a background, as a, you know, something to emphasize uh, scriptures that you might want to remember might need to memorize or just might want to come back and read again later. So that's what we're going to be doing. My checkbook register, it measures a three by six. Um, and when it's open, it's close to being a six by six. What I have here is an old Bible. Yes, an old Bible. It is written on, it's been spilled on, it is teeny tiny itty bitty um, text size. So I, I was gonna throw it away. <laughs> But then I thought, you know, hey, I could use this um, for my scripture journaling. And really, I'm just using it as backdrop. I am ripping it up and I'm going to glue it down. And it's going to be just texture and some wording that you can see um, in the backdrop of the piece. So I have my Liquitex Matte Gel Media there and I'm going to use it to attach the Bible pages to the checkbook register. Um, this Bible really wasn't donatable. I have so many Bibles that I really didn't need anymore. So it, it might seem <laughs> blasphemous to some people to rip up Bible pages. But I mean, for me, it's better than them going in the trash because that's where it would have gone. Um, so I'm just, I've sped up the video for you guys here and I'm just attaching the Bible pages to the background with my matte gel media, as I said, and now I'm going to come in with a little bit of gesso after I dry, <laughs> dry the matte gel medium. It needs to be nice and dry before you want to go and work on top of it. So I have my Liquitex Basics white gesso here that I've squeezed off on the side and I'm just going to go over and I'm not going to cover everything just try to fade in some of the edges I don't want it to be so stark in the background I want to be able to see it obviously um but I don't I don't want it to be you know so stark in the background that that's what you see instead of the art is going to go over the top of it so I'm just blending out the edges with the white gesso and then I'm going to dry it you do want to dry that gesso before you work on top of it and now I have brought out my alcohol ink print this is something I did in a, a previous video as well it's something I made with Marabou alcohol inks and I used a stencil and the alcohol inks on top of this onion skin paper so this paper is is similar to vellum I like it better than vellum though um, it's sturdier than tissue paper and it rips really easily as you can see and it's translucent so we'll be able to see those Bible pages in the background um, you know where the alcohol ink can be seen through so I've ripped it down to size I just used my ruler and did you know a rough rip there and now I'm going to use my matte gel medium to attach the paper to the checkbook register now I put the matte gel all over the background because I mean I'm gluing the whole thing down. So I'm put the matte gel all over the background, but what I'm also going to do to help get rid of wrinkles and bubbles is I'm going to spray my onion skin paper with water. Um, this is a technique that I like to use when I'm doing anything such as Mod Podge or 
something like this where I'm gluing down large pieces of paper that tends to bubble and wrinkle so I spray it with the water and then put it stick it down and because it has the water it can slide around a little bit so you can get it centered and then I'm just going to go over the top with another layer of the matte gel medium this will seal everything off so that we can work on top of it um, without a problem without worrying about you know damaging anything underneath so I've sealed everything. I have everything all sealed off and off camera I dried it so it's nice and dry there and I, I opened it up so you can see that the fold still works very well even though we glued over the top of it. There's no problem there. So what I'm going to do now is just trim off the excess around the edges, the excess print. before we go ahead and work over the top of the alcohol ink stencil design. So the next thing that we want to do is do some design on top. This is a stencil by Chow Bella called a bad girls is a line that they have I think the stencil is called coffee stain I will link that up in the description for you guys but I'm also getting out my Marabou art spray in the color aubergine and get I gave that a shake because it does it is acrylic paint spray so you have to shake it up and then spray it over the top of my stencil just to give a little bit of pop in the corner of the print and I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the bottom as well with my aubergine spray I'm using that paper to cover up the rest of the design because the sprays you know tend to travel and there we have it I, there was a lot of um, art spray on top of that stencil so I, I can't I can't waste it you know so I got out a deli sheet and I'm just spreading it out on top of the stencil to pick up a lot of that extra spray I mean that can easily be used in collage and art journal. I can do lots of things with that. What would otherwise have just been wiped off and thrown out. So after I've done my spraying, what I'm going to do now, I believe, is get out some acrylic paint and do some splatters over the top of the design. I'm using this dark pink color by Dilutions. And I'm just going to drop out a little on my glass media mat by Tim Holtz and then spray it with water. I want to make it pretty liquidy to make sure that I can get the droplets off of the paintbrush and onto the design. I have, I don't know what that is in my hand. I think it's a brayer. Something to hit the paintbrush with to get the paint droplets to transfer. And as you can see, they're transferring very well. And there you have it. I'm pretty sure that that's, that's the finished design. What I have now is the scripture that we're going to be using in this scripture journal page. And this is from Psalms 91. It is one of my favorite scriptures. And what I did was I printed it on some graph paper as I just showed you there. Planning pad that I got. Penning gear which is a Walmart brand. I actually just typed it up and I printed it out in my laser printer and cut it. And what I have there also is an embellishment that I made by using that aubergine spray on some watercolor paper and then I die cut it with that cross die. Um, I'm not sure where I got that die from to be honest but that Art spray is Marabou again. And the same spray we just used to do the coffee stain in the corner. So I've got my matte gel media out. Matte gel medium. I always say media. Medium. And I'm just going to stick down the scripture on the page. And the reference to what scripture it is I'm going to stick down right there as well and then I'm just going to go over the top also of the cross and get that stuck down also with the matte gel medium 
Okay, so I'm going to get everything all stuck down. And while I'm doing that, I'm just going to read the scripture that I put down. It says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him I will trust. And that is Psalm 91. 1 through 2. This is one of my favorite scriptures, especially now, you know, with everything going on these days. If you just think about the wording that the Lord is your refuge and your fortress. Um, I mean, a fortress, if you think about that, it's just, you know, it's it's fortified, it's safe. Um, You know, it is a place where you can be and, and not be afraid of anything that's going on around you. And the same with the refuge, you know. That is really uh, when I'm looking at what's going on in the world, when I'm looking at all the challenges, all the difficulties of this pandemic and everything else. um, Just thinking of this, meditating on this scripture has really helped me in that regard. Um, And that's what these scripture journals are really all about. You know, I can open this up. I can read through it, I can meditate on it, I can be encouraged by whatever scriptures I've chosen to put in between these pages. So, and the good thing about this is these checkbook register journals are so small that you can really, you can give them themes, you know, one can be about grace, one can be about love, one can be about forgiveness, you know, and you can switch them out and carry them around with you so whenever you might need to meditate or <laughs> you know find some quiet time and be encouraged they're, they're really useful um, for that so what I'm doing in the piece now is I'm just going over it doing some doodling with a white paint marker um, doing some emphasis around the cross and some little dots and dibs and dabs all around <laughs> and so here's our close-up at the end, this is what we ended up with. Um, I think it came out really nice and it's a great first page to our checkbook register journal. And there you have it guys. Thank you for watching. And if you like what you saw, please press subscribe and also leave a like on the video. Have a creative day you guys. See you next time.